For all you sci-fi fans, we've got something cool for you today. I'm Will from Sondug Creative, and I'm going to show you how to get this awesome glitch effect in Photoshop. Start by converting your subject to grayscale by going to Image, Adjustments, Desaturate. Now make a copy of the subject with Command or Control J. This is the one we're going to be doing all of our work on. Double click to bring up your blending options, and click this box that says R for red here and hit OK. With either your mouse or your arrow keys, nudge your subject and you'll start to see this cool effect form from us separating the channels. Now for this next part, you get to do a little arts and crafts project. With your marquee tool, draw a long thin box somewhere on the canvas. Hit V to bring up your move tool, hold shift and drag that selection either left or right. Now repeat that a whole bunch of times. Make sure to alternate the sizes so that some are bigger than others, some don't stretch as far into the center of the screen as much, you know. You can do it however you like it, but I like to try and avoid certain features like the lips, maybe the hands, and if I'm working with text, I also might do this sparingly just so it's still readable. But that isn't really an issue with this one. Once you're happy, make a new layer. Go to Edit, Fill, and make it white. Right click on it and convert it to a smart object. Now go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and choose Halftone Pattern. Set the pattern type to line and bring the contrast all the way up and the size to somewhere between 1 and 5 depending on how small you want the lines to be. Now feel free to skip this step, but I like adding a little bit of grunge to mine, so I'm just going to make another layer here and choose Graphic Pen. Set the stroke length to 4 and the balance to whatever you like so long as it's less than 50. Set the direction to vertical and hit OK. Finally, set the blending mode to vivid light and bring down the fill to an amount that works for your piece. In my case, it was about 65. And that's how you make a glitch effect in Photoshop. Even though working on design projects may be a lot of fun, it's still incredibly time consuming and even challenging. To help you save time while still creating good work, we've got design templates for Photoshop which allow you to finish projects within minutes instead of hours. So if you want to start saving time now, start by checking out our links in the description below.